Hey, what is going on everybody? My name's Ashley and welcome to another episode of the Tenerife Career Mode. If you do enjoy the video, please drop a like. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to check out any social media links or links to the previous episodes, they'll be down in the description below. So we're jumping straight on into a cup game against Almira away from home, looking to try and find progression through to the next round. But as you can see, Almira pick up the ball here, winning the ball off us midway for our own half, play the ball in towards the box. And then as we go to try and press the ball, he we get an auto tackle, give away a penalty, and Amira going to step up from the spot and put it away, making it 1-0, which is disappointing to go down that way because I felt that we had our own opportunities in the game. But Amira get another opportunity here. We do make the tackle. They seem to try and constantly win the ball back. It just pings around until they eventually fire a shot at Blanco, who forces a decent save. Into the second half, we try to push forward. Some nice work here, playing the ball out wide to Jaro, looking to find space inside the box. He manages to turn it, play it across the box to Gonzalez, and Gonzalez puts it in the back of net, making it one all. But our lead, our equal parity didn't last long as they continued to push forward, trying to find opportunities. Blanco with a decent save from this one. But then they get an opportunity where they're going to play the ball through our defenders with ease. Looks to cut it across and we try to block it, the run there and they win the ball and put it in the back and they're making it 2-1. Which is extremely disappointing because both of those times were AI decisions rather than my own. But we take it and we move on into the next game which is going to be against Albacete in the league away from home. And Albacete are getting an early opportunity here in the wide area looking to play the ball, trying to find space to get the ball inside the box. Eventually they're going to play the ball over the top, we're going to head it back to the goalkeeper and we're going to dispatch it out. But they continue to push forward trying to find opportunities to get the opening goal. And they swing the ball in here towards the box. It's half cleared by defenders. It falls back and eventually cleared off the line luckily enough for us. But they continued to dominate the early chances. And they get another opportunity here breaking inside. Trying to get an opportunity to shoot and the keeper does well to save it. We then get an opportunity of our own just before half time. Some nice work here by Nano playing through to Garcia. Garcia looks to have a shot which is well saved by the keeper and then the defender plays it across the box and clears. And then into the second Albacete get their opening chance of the second half. We head it clear but it's headed back in and volleyed into the back of the net making it 1-0 to Albacete. Very, very disappointing. But we weren't going to let it hold us down for too long. We continually pressured but eventually get our opportunity here. Some nice work by Nano. Driving past a few tackles and eventually putting in the back of the net making it one all. Albacete did get a chance in the dying numbers of the game. But the keeper does well to save and we eventually scramble it away. And give the ball away and they cross it back in. And we do eventually clear it keeping it at 1-1. One, one. So we get another point which is better than a loss so we'll move on into some training and we're going to see some growth here from Garcia going up to a 68 rated camp which is nice just trying to improve those stats you need to get that stamina up though. We move on into U squad report and finally we get a player that's actually worth taking forward so we're going to bring him into the youth academy and move on into our final game against Real Oviedo and we get an early opportunity uh, in the second minute we play short free kicker then allow a Kamara or right back to get forward and deliver an across but the cross is collected by the keeper you'd think that was uh, an early enough chance to create something but it took until the second half for Oviedo to get an opportunity of their own here deflecting a shot off the bar it eventually falls back out so they get another opportunity and keeper does well to save it keeping it at 0-0 then Oviedo get another opportunity here playing the ball through looking to try and get a shot off here with Bolshevay. He lays it off to Touche and Touche forces a save from the keeper and it remains nil-nil. So another point gained, at least it's not another loss and we continue to push forward to try and get in those playoff places. But it has knocked us out but it's very tight for that. But that's going to bring in the episode guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Until next time, my name's Ashley. Thanks for watching and goodbye.